Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first fight of the evening in the middleweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner with one win and one loss, fighting out of Team Quest to Mecula, California. This is Jimmy Blakey. And his opponent in the red corner with one win and no losses, fighting out of Team Vegas Bale, Las Vegas, Nevada. Here is Tyler Jepson. <laughs> Referee Joe Sullivan. Stop at all times, obey my commands at all times. If I tell you to stop, you must stop. Any questions? Any questions? Touch gloves if you want. Go back to your corner if you're ready to fight. Big moment for both these fighters and a big moment for Tough Enough, the very first fight ever to happen in the Tough Enough cage here in Las Vegas. An exciting time and you've got two very intense middleweights that are about to square off. History in the making. Jimmy Blakely is wearing the brown trunks tonight. Tyler Jepson wearing the black and the white and they come out swinging. Oh man, big right hand eaten by Blakely. Jepson comes out swinging as he said that he would. Massive intensity early. Nice takedown. There's action early in the cage. Boy. Tyler Jepson pushes down, is going to set up on top as Jim Blakely pulls guard underneath. Look at those massive hammer fists. From the ground, too. It looks like he's going for the mount. He's got it. He's on top right now. A full 90 seconds left in this opening round. These rounds are only two minutes, but a huge amount of action in the first 40 seconds of this fight. Tyler Jefferson, as usual, coming out with the intensity. He is in mount position, raining down blows. It looks like he's got that rear naked choke in. Blakely doing a good job of keeping the chin tucked, but he is in a precarious position. Yeah, what's interesting is that Jefferson, yeah, he has to give it up there. He was sort of on the side as opposed to fully having the back, so he couldn't sink that choke in properly. Couldn't get the leverage that he needs. Mounts back up. Ends up losing that full mount, but still <laughs> raining down power from blows on Blakely. Yeah, huge right hands, uh, you know, a little bit off to the side, like you said, on that choke. And now he's setting up the arm triangle, the head and arm choke. If he can dismount, get that le uh, right leg free and pitch all the way out to the side, he can put a lot more pressure on this choke. Boy, this has been a long minute and a half for Jim Blakely. Tyler Jepson in total control of this fight. And Blakely is in trouble. Joe Sullivan is watching closely. Keeping a close look in those eyes. We're seeing some punches. Blakey wants to answer the phone, as you say, in jiu-jitsu defense. Pull, pull that arm down. He does create a little bit of space there. Jepson's got 10 seconds left in the opening round. He postures back up. Going to rain down some more punches. Going to be hard to finish with these final seconds ticking away. Still going for it, though. And we are going to see a second round. Wow, Tyler Jepson. What intensity he came out with. Amazing intensity to start with. Like you said, that focus, that drive coming in. He just dominated from start to finish. I'll tell you what, you can very easily call that a 10-8 round. That was just utter domination. Complete dominance. Team Vegas Bale uh, showing very nicely tonight. It's funny, I was talking to the owner of Vegas Bale. He was talking about Tyler Jepson, how he's going to be something. And you always hear people talking about their fighters. But look at this action here from round number one. I don't think there's any question about it. This kid, Tyler Jepson, he's legit. Absolutely. And I give Jimmy Blakey all the uh, the credit in the world, you know, for surviving that onslaught of those initial punches, getting out of some difficult positions. But he has got to do something to turn the tide here. Uh, he does not want to get overwhelmed again by Tyler Jepson. How does he slow the pace? Boy, it's tough against a guy like Jepson, but that's what you want to do exactly. Slow the pace. See if you can calm that intensity down a little bit. I don't know, staring into Tyler Jepson's eyes. I don't know if you can slow that intensity down. The cage door is slammed shut. Round number two. Two minutes on the clock. Tough enough amateur fighting championship. And wow, oh. Jepson again comes out swinging hard. This time he's on the feet. Big knee, big left hand. Wow. And Jim Blakey stands, stands in the pocket. Trades punches, not afraid to do it. Yeah, I He's throwing back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Amazing. He's covering up now. Jepson, big knee to the body. Now you see Jepson throwing these wild swinging punches. Almost ducks into a knee there. Interesting to note what type of energy level can he maintain through the second round. He really went all out in the first. And he's going all out in the second as well. Boy, he is tagging him, though. Those shots are landing. It's coming close to the end. Jepson teeing off on Blakey. Takes him to the ground. 
the mount again, and he's got the left arm trapped under the leg as well. He's going to go for the Kimura, or excuse me, he's going for the key lock. Looks like it could be in a lot of trouble there. He's cranking on it. Jim Blakeney somehow surviving that. But again, you see the left arm is trapped, and he's in a mount position. It's how Jeff is in complete control again with 50 seconds left in this round. Question is, how much does Jepson have left in him? He's been working hard now for a round and a half. Jim Blakey holding on to the leg as he rolls out. Sure, he wants to try to get top position, slide to the back, do something. Like you said, slow down the onslaught, and it's not happening. Tyler Jepson in a crucifix across the back, still has that arm trap. Now he lets it go. Jimmy Blakey's corner yelling at him, imploring him to please get to his feet, get back, get out of there. Look at it. Now Steps around on the back. back. And he's raining down punches. Final 10 seconds. Jepson flips him over. Oh, oh he's got the arm it. bar. It's fully extended. Oh, my gosh, what an end to the round. Whoa, that is the end of two. And Jepson, as you saw him sit up, went, whoo, dodged a bullet on that one. Jim Blakey has got a lot of damage on his right eye. It's swelling up. We might have a trouble here in between rounds. The NSAC is going to come in and take a look at it. Massive damage on the right eye might cause a problem going to this third and final round, but it does not take away from the heart he showed at the end of that second round, nearly flipping the script on Tyler Jefferson. Interesting point for those of you that are tuning in tonight to Tough Enough for the first time with amateur fights. Uh, they use a greater amount of caution than they would even in a professional fight. And of course, in a professional fight, uh, fighter safety is of the utmost concern. But when you're looking at amateurs, they always make sure that the amateurs are in a condition where they can fight because these guys are very early on in their career, and so they want to make sure that they're not putting the fighters in harm's way. We are going to a third and final round, though. Two minutes will be on the clock. You got Jim Blakey. He's wearing the brown trunks. And Tyler Jefferson is wearing the black and the white. So far, it's been almost all Tyler Jefferson. Wow, big uppercut, just barely misses. Big left hand, that left is what's landing for Jefferson. Yeah, wild punches, but they're scoring. Can't say enough about Blakey standing back in the pocket, banging, but Jefferson is getting the best of these exchanges. Now into the tie clinch and uh, a big knee. Another big knee to the body. Just missed with a huge left hand, and Blakey continues to stand in there and slug it out as well, and you're starting to see the fatigue set in for both fighters. Oh, nice kick to the body from Blakey. Followed by a backhand, missed with that right, and just swung it back the other direction, and ended up catching Jepson a little bit. All oh, hard here. Jepson is completely in control so far, but he is tiring as well, and he eats a big right hand. Oh, he's hurt. Another backhand. Both these fighters just showing an amazing amount of heart, slugging it out. What a way to start the night here at Tough Enough. Unbelievable action. One minute left. We're halfway through this third and final round. Jefferson has been in control, but Jim Blakey is standing in the pocket. He's now the one controlling up against the cage. Excellent. 45 seconds left. Jefferson leaps up, tries to take the back. So fatigued, Blakey turns around, starts delivering shots to the body. Big uppercut, big left hand, and a right oh, connect. Four, five, six, wow. in a row. How is this even possible? Amazing action in the middleweight division. These guys are going toe to toe. This is unbelievable. How is he on his feet right now? Blakey's landed a dozen shots in a row. He's bouncing off the cage and throwing back. This is the most obscene fight I've ever seen. Unbelievable. Forrest Griffin and Stephen Bonner are embarrassed right now. <laughs> Final 10 seconds of the fight, and they're still swinging away. The crowd here at the Orleans is about to grab ballroom, loving it. That is the end of three. Wow. Can I what just a stand and clap? I wish you would clap. That was just amazing. That's unreal. I don't think we've ever done this before, John. That's but the first standing ovation from the broadcast booth. <laughs> well deserved. What a way to start off the night. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
sick finish to an already great fight. I, mean, I don't think the judges really have their work cut out for them on this one, considering how dominant the uh, the first and second rounds were with the exclusion of that armbar attempt there at the end of the second were for Tyler Jefferson. But Jim Blakely, certainly nothing to be ashamed of. Thrilling fight through and through, never gave up. Easily could have tapped out at a couple of points. Easily could have been TKO'd at a couple of points, but just fought his way through it, went through hell, and put on an incredible show here tonight at the Orleans in Las Vegas. Unbelievable. You've got to think Jefferson's going to walk away at the win, but Blakey can hold his head high on the trip back to Temecula, California. Let's get the official decision from the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a hand for these two warriors? After three rounds of combat, we have your winner by unanimous decision, the red corner, Tyler Jepson! From Team Vegas Mayo, Tyler Jepson walking away with a big, very well-earned victory tonight. Amazing way to start the night. We are coming back to the Orleans for more action from the Tough Enough Cage. Dave Fair alongside John Morgan, and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.